All right, welcome guys. Welcome once again to Think Tank TV. Now, reports reaching us has it that Namda Khan alleges plans to infect him with deadly infection. Wow. Now, I had to learn something some some years ago when I was quite I was leading a union at the place at my place of work. We were supposed to have a new leadership. And as a union leader, we did our best to ensure that we get a person who was from our tribe to head the leadership of the organization of working then. We went ahead to protest, we went ahead to block the gates, we went ahead to write petitions, we went ahead to ensure that the person that comes to lead us in that organization had to be a person from our place. But we learned the hard way. Because indeed, our wishes and our plans came to fusion. They gave it to us. They gave us a person that was from from my place. But what happened at the end of the day? The guy became so disappointing. All our demands and everything we thought he was going to do, he he couldn't do them. He couldn't bring them to fusion. And we began to regret it. We had to learn the hard way that truth is tribalism is the lowest form of knowledge. Now, the truth is that people may be silent, but their eyes are open. They are watching. We know the court judgment that has actually set this guy free, but the Nigerian government has refused to let him go. Now, people may begin to ask, why does the government decide to do selective adher- adherence to court judgments? That is why people are asking these questions. So if we say we are one Nigeria, we must leave sentiments apart and face the realities on ground. Now, some days ago, um, the Northern Group actually frowned at Ohane Zendibo for asking the Tinubu-led government to release Namdekano if he gets into power. And we begin to wonder what we're talking about when we begin to talk about the issues of um, sentiment and tribalism. And that is not the best way to go as a nation. I know different people may have their different opinion about this issue, but I think that dealing with issues from the root cause is better than solving them from from the top without looking at the realities of such issues. Now, if a group of people are dictating about an issue, the best you can do as a government or as a leader is to call them and find out what exactly are the issues. Because of course, the Nigerian constitution permits for people to agitate. It permits for people to to put out their their sentiments and to protest and say what they are not pleased about. Now, resolving these ag- agitations requires us to be sincere in our approach. And that is the only way these problems can be solved. And I keep saying that politicians must know that there is a thin line between politics and governance. There is a thin line between religious inclination and leadership. And this is the reason why when a politician is sworn into office, that is the day you cross that thin line. You stop being a political leader to being a leader of the people. But we choose to politicize everything. When we as leaders who know these things and keep them apart, we know that as a leader you need to get a technocrat to handle a professional job, but we choose to go along party lines just to satisfy our party. And that is why we're having so much problems in our nation. Now, I'll be jumping right into the news to tell you what the news says about the, the, the Namdekano's detention and what is happening to him in the DSS office. But if you're new to our session, please do well to hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications so that you can be duly informed when we put out informative content like this. Now, the Vanguard says tuberculosis in, inmate moved near Namdekano's cell. Lawyers cries out. Prince Mandela Omeguorugu, one of the lawyers of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Namdi, Mazi Namdi Kano, has bitterly complained over the alleged relocation of a tuberculosis inmate near Kano cell at the Abuja headquarters of the Department of State Service, DSS. Kano's lawyer, who spoke with Vanguard after a routine visit, to the IPOB leader on Monday expressed deep worry over the grave health implications of having a tuberculosis patient in one's environment. He said that Kano was highly enraged about the sad development which he alleged could be a deliberate attempt to infest him with an infectious disease. I met with Inamde Kano today, Monday, at the DSS headquarters in Abuja and he was complaining to me 
that they brought somebody suffering from tuberculosis close to his cell block. The patient, Emeribe Uduma, was arrested in Ohafia on September 15, 2022, and handed over to the DSS, which brought him to Abuja. Oyendo Kanu complained to me that that boy was suffering from tuberculosis and that he was moved near his cell block so that he would infest him and others with tuberculosis. You know that tuberculosis is very infectious. Do they want to infest him so he will die in detention? The lawyer father said that when the SS officials came to fetch Kano after their meeting, he raised the same complaint before them but they denied having any tuberculosis inmates around the facility. When we finished discussing and some DSS personnel came to take him back to his cell, he raised the matter before them. He told them that it is immoral and inhuman to do certain things even if it's an order from above. He told them to have a sense of their own and refuse to obey instructions that are inhuman and illegal. He also confronted them and told them it was wrong to bring a tuberculosis patient close to people, especially those in confinement where you don't have ventilation. But they said they had tested everybody and nobody had tuberculosis, but Ian told them it's a lie. Reacting to the development, Nam the Kano has called on the international community to prevail on the Nigerian authorities not to allow Kano to die in detention. The family we spoke through Prince Emmanuel Kano expressed worry over the development and renewed this call for his release in compliance with various court orders. They should bear in mind that Kano is an innocent man who has been set free by the courts. Any plan to bring him down through infectious disease should be dropped. The international community should prevail on Nigeria to ensure nothing happens to him. Meanwhile, efforts to reach the DSS were unsuccessful as the secret police spokesman could not be assessed as at the time of filing this report. So this was from the Vanguard newspaper and brought to you live on our station here, Think Tank TV. Do well to hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications and do a comment. Tell us what your thought is at the comment section. We'd love to hear from you so that we can continually be here to serve you. My name is Moses.